Well, here we are this morning on the water's edge. I'd like to take a few minutes and take you through our brand new Pathfinder 2600 HPS, high performance step. It's a dual step boat, uh, made, made it for a, quite a few different uh, applications. You can use this boat inshore, you can use it offshore. Uh, it just it does a lot of things very well. So if you take a few minutes, I'd like to take you through our new for 2013 Pathfinder 2600 HPS. Well, here we are. We're going to start on the front of the, of the Pathfinder 2600 HPX. As I said in the introduction, this is a, a boat that's built for quite a few different applications. And, I, and I'd like to take a few minutes and show you the boat. Um, so starting at the bow of the boat, as with all Pathfinders, you can see we have an oversized anchor locker here. Hang your anchor, hang your road and chain in here. Plenty of room. Um, something that's kind of new, uh, a lot of these bigger bay boats you see these days, you can't put a trolling motor on. As you can see, we've got a 60 inch trolling motor on here, 36 volt. A 26 foot boat with a trolling motor moves the boat very well. So again, you can use it inshore, trolling down the beach, chasing tarp and whatever you're doing with it, uh, works very well. So that's something you don't see very often. Uh, moving aft a little bit, <clears throat> we do have a forward live well on this boat, 15 gallons. You can see here, so you don't have to keep running back to your main live well on the back. Got a nice sized live well up here, remote well, so you can keep a few baits in here while you're up front fishing. Um, moving aft on the boat, big oversized storage box here. You can see, as with all Pathfinders, the compression latches, big oversized gutters here that remove a lot of water, takes an awful lot of water. It, it, it evacuates it from the boat so your boxes don't get wet. Gasket all around the hatch. As with all Pathfinders, you can see that, that compression latch locks that down tight so it's a very tight fit when you're when you're closing the box um, you've got great rod storage on the boat if you look here on both sides locking rod boxes oversized very easy to get rods in and out uh, you can store five six rods on each side up to nine and a half foot put fly rods in big conventional reels works very very well again compression latches and these locks so you can lock them up step 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 off and Going shore for, a, uh, for lunch or something, you can lock up your rods. Uh, here's something that's new that's a great feature on the Pathfinder 2600. Look at this. This is a fish box. Goes way forward, very, very deep. You can see it goes way forward with a macerator pump. Uh, you can use it as a cooler, but, but a great fish box. Pumps overboard, uh, works very, very well. So this is something that's new to Pathfinder. We're able, on this larger boat, to be able to incorporate in this. Again, with a compression latch, locks it way down. Plus, this also acts as a step, a transition step from the cockpit up to the bow, so it's very easy to walk forward. You're fighting a big fish or something, you don't have to step up on a big bulkhead here. Uh, works very, very well. I'm uh, moving aft on the new Pathfinder 2600 HPS. I want to take a few minutes and show you our new hardtop. This is brand new, the very first one, uh, a fiberglass hardtop. This will be this will be available through the entire Pathfinder line. But you can see here, very, very nice piece, uh, all custom built. Um, great big OD pipe on these. Uh, this Obviously, this one is powder coated. Uh, you can see it's a fiberglass piece, LED lights all throughout the hardtop. A very nice feature, we've kind of incorporated this from some of the bigger offshore boats, is your rod storage. You can see the, the integrated uh, built-in uh, rod racks here alongside the console. You can see here the, where the rods go in and out, store very easily. You can see you can store a, a big spinning rod, conventional offshore rod, small spinning rods. Um, this will take pretty much everything you can store in the boat. On the console, just like every other uh, Pathfinder out there, we have a, a locking uh, storage box here. You put the big Plano tackle boxes in. Uh, this also gives you full access to the inside of the console. This folds down all the way down, full access to your batteries, your battery charging, all your wiring, things like that. And again, this locks. Um, standard on this boat is our fiberglass cooler that we built in-house. Great big oversized, very well insulated. Um, just a great piece with a, with a nice seat on it. Uh, as you can see, you could put two adults across here, uh, certainly a couple of kids. Uh, great place to sit on the boat. Um, Again, moving back to the hard top, you can see this is a great piece. It's got a lot of storage in it. You've got a, you've got a box here. You've also got a box here. Both of these are locking with springs, hold them open. Um, you know, radio boxes, whatever you want to do, PFD storage, whatever you'd like to do in this spot. Um, also on the, on the hard top, you've got built-in speaker mods here. You can put a couple of stereo speakers here. Plus, 
This boat is equipped with the optional uh, aft rod rack on top. You can see we put what they call kingfish rod holders on the boat, so you can, you know, offshore trolling. Again, this boat can be used in a bunch of different situations. Uh, great rod storage. You can put a couple of rods out here trolling like the kingfish boats do. Uh, just a great all-around piece. Real nice hard top. You can see we did this one. Uh, this has the optional uh, uh, gel-matched underside. You can see it's an ice blue that matches the ice blue on the console, the ice blue on the bottom of the boat. Really kind of ties the whole boat in together. Um, as with all Pathfinder consoles, great big huge area for mounting electronics. You can see on this particular model we have a 12 inch Ray Marine unit here. Uh, you still have plenty of room for a stereo or whatever you want to do. Power pole switch here. Uh, you can see again with all, all the Pathfinders, LED backlit switch panel, great switches. Um, of course all your controls are right here. Nice storage box here, wallet, keys, cell phone, things like that. As with all Pathfinder consoles, nice toe kick makes this very, very comfortable. You've got a, you've got a foot rest here and a toe kick under here, so you want to lock yourself in. Uh, just makes it very, very comfortable operating the boat. Um, just like I say, great all-around piece. Hand holes, this was, was very well thought out. Uh, it connects, the hard top connects on the underside here, all ties in together, just makes a very, very functional, operational, great looking piece. We changed some things up on this 2600. Uh, this is what, what you see here is the leaning post tackle station, which is standard. Um, our stick leaning post that's standard on the other boats is, is, not a, is, is not in this boat. This is standard. Very, very nice piece here. You can see it folds down real comfortable. Very comfortable. You got a nice, great, you got a great backrest here, a place to rest your arm. Plus, on the front of it, you have a footrest. If you want it for the passenger, you want to sit down, can't quite reach in here. Somebody's a little shorter maybe, got a foot rest right here. Just makes it extremely comfortable. Um, this is also a nice piece because it's got some tackle storage in it. Uh, if you look on the back side here, you've got great tackle storage under here. Box here, with the Clano trays in it, right there, a nice storage there. And again, these lock, like with everything here, a couple drawers here, they work very well. You can see here on the underside, we also have under gunnel rod storage on this boat, which is nice. You got the gunnel boards here, which gives you full width access. You can see the, you have full width access here with these gunnel boards. Plus it gives you great under gunnel rod storage. You can store fly rods, um, oversized uh, spinning rods. You can see here we got a couple of rods in this one. Uh, just works extremely well. Uh, moving aft on the Pathfinder 2600 HPS. Um, we have our in-floor storage like we've done on a lot of the Pathfinder models of late. You can see here, we, this one is full of batteries. Uh, we've got a 36 volt trolling motor on the boat, plus a cranking battery. We have a total of five batteries on the boat. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, four batteries on the boat, three for the trolling motor, one for the crank. Great place to store it. Again, big oversized gutters here uh, with drains, so any water that gets in there evacuates from the boat. Again, with a compression latch. And then let's move back to the aft deck a little bit. Uh, this, is a, this is a great area. It's large. Uh, it houses quite a few things. Uh, first and foremost is the live well. This is your main live well. This is 50 gallons. Uh, you've probably seen our live well video online. Uh, works very, very well. Two, two raw water feeds in this, plus a recirculating system, plus a live well light. Uh, just uh, we've, we've spent a lot of time and effort on these live wells, and they keep bait alive just like they're supposed to do. So you can see great big size. No place, no place for a, again, no place for a net to hang up. You've got a hidden standpipe hidden behind a piece of plexiglass that evacuates the bad water out of the live well very well. Works extremely well. On both sides of the boat, you have this side on the porch side here, you have either a storage area or an optional release well. This boat is rigged with a release well. So tournament anglers, a couple of fish in here. If you need to keep them alive for the tournament, works very well. Pneumatic lift assist, which holds it open, so if you're trying to wrestle a fish and get them in and out of there, you're not having to hold the lid and use one hand, so that works real well. Um, here's something that, uh, that, that we've, we've, we've pretty much taken across the line also. A lot of boats you look at, very, very difficult to get to all your things in the bilge. Uh, your bilge pump, your live well pumps, everything is right here. You can see everything's right here within reach, very easy to change. So if you need to change a live well pump, need to change your bilge pump, it's all right there, very easy to get to. Um, over here on this side, over here on this side is a storage box. You can see here, same thing. You can use this for tackle storage or whatever you'd like to store in here. But you can see it's a it's a very large area. Two people can fish back here, um, or if you have somebody on the front, another person fishing back here. It's a very very large area. Um, you can see on the back side of this boat, it's rigged with a couple of things. It's got the flush mount gunnel rod holders. It's got the flush cleats. 
Of course, all stainless, uh, real high quality hardware. Uh, this boat is rigged with a Yamaha 300, uh, the, the, the big 300 offshore motor works extremely well. The boat's fast, it's quick, the whole shot's good. Uh, it runs pretty square through the whole RPM range. Just a nice package for it. We are going to be testing some other motors on it, but the 300 we think is, is probably the best all around package for this boat. You can see the step pole, this has a bustle transom. On this particular boat, we do have a, we have a 10 foot power pole here. Uh, which we're rigging a lot of them with. So again, it's a great inshore, offshore combination. The guys who want to run offshore a little bit, um, people down in the Keys, those kind of things that, that are running in the back and maybe running offshore to the reef and run off doing a little sail fishing. Uh, this boat will do a lot, of the, a lot of those different things all in one boat. We all know you can't find one boat that will do everything. We think this comes pretty close. So thanks you for taking a few minutes this morning to go through the boat with me. Again, this is our new for 2013 Pathfinder 2600 HPS.